Hello everybody. Welcome to the live stream. So this is <clears throat> another page from Phobos. This is an old one I created a long time ago. Well, no, not a long time ago. It was 2013-ish. And it's just a rough. I just wanted to get the idea across. And I think I did successfully. But now I just need to convert that to a finished looking page. Would you say, Bob says, would you say uh, to artists ashamed, stubborn, above working from reference images? Is it okay to work from reference images? I would say yes. Definitely yes. There's a lot of, especially on jobs. Jobs is great for reference images. If you don't really know what you're looking for with your comic, and then reference images are great. <laughs> Jonathan says, any writing tips that you stand by, especially for plotting out a book issue? Um, just, I just like keeping it simple for the writing phase. I almost like doing it as a bullet point list or thumbnails more than writing out full scripts so that the script, so that the dialogue can develop as you, as you make the art. That's my suggestion. It's definitely an artist way of writing. Question, are you picky with drawing pencils? No, I just like uh, number two pencils, really. If I'm using a pencil, I like the, the wood pencils that have nice number two lead pencil sharpener. I, I draw the best, in my opinion, with that. Um, I also like, uh, what is it, those mechanical pencils, too. And I just use number two lead on, in that as well, which whatever that equates to HB or H some, oh, I don't know. Question why you don't use Clip Studio anymore? It's not that I don't use it anymore. It's just I, I designed Phobos with Photoshop and I'd completed like a whole pile of pages with Photoshop. I made brushes um, and techniques with Photoshop for how to do the backgrounds. And so all the effects I feel like work best in Photoshop for the backgrounds. And then I have a nice, uh, a real kind of crusty brush that, I, that I've completed so many pages already with Photoshop that I just feel like I should just keep going with Photoshop at this point with Phobos. And so I do like Clip Studio's um, brush system better, but, and there might be some things that I'll switch over to Clip Studio to do quicker, you know, quickly, and then switch back to Photoshop to finish these things up. But that's the main reason why. I still like Clip Studio best for drawing though. Do you have an agent? Would you recommend getting one? I don't. I have an agent for international stuff, but it hasn't really come to much. Hasn't. I mean, it hasn't done anything for me. Um, I would get one if I could find one that I that was just like. I only want to get an agent if they're the best agent ever. That's kind of the. That's what it comes down to. I don't want to get an agent just to have an agent because I feel like I can. It doesn't help. So I've had good and bad agents in the past, and so I'm not interested unless, unless um, you know, the right connections are made. And, and so, so, but I'm I am interested, but I'm not actively looking for it and pursuing it. And I don't recommend it being an essential thing. I think building up your skills and becoming um, an artist that people can't ignore is more important because then you'll you'll start you'll start running ha making connections with people that can actually really help you. Okay. 
Gray Cat says, how would you go about planning a mystery? I want to write a story and it has a cool concept, but I'm really having trouble putting the mystery together. Oh boy, it's a loaded question. Um, I like to tell people make a visual mis make visual mysteries, so characters can have mystery like interesting things about them that are mysterious that makes you want to ask questions about the character. So you can do that right at an introduction of a character. You know why do they have a big scar on their face? You know why does Harry Potter have the lightning scar? You know uh, visual mystery. Also just introducing. I mean it's. Easier said than done, but trying to, on the first couple pages, introducing a mystery that you want to build an answer within the next so many pages that also reveals more mysteries. But hey, how do you do that? I don't know. You know, so um, sorry that didn't really help. <laughs> Um, Pearson says, if you couldn't go to college, what would you do to improve your comic skills fresh out of high school? Well, I would first of all say, uh, and this may be controversial, but don't go to college for art. Um, you can get, if you're really passionate about it, I think you can, as an artist, you will, you will pick the stuff up on your own and finding the influences on your own. College will give you a lot of good assignments. Um, but they don't necessarily know where the industry is right now. They're, I mean, I'm dealing with people coming up, dealing with a college locally here, you know, and they just, they're giving students the wrong direction completely. They're just telling them to go the wrong way. And, it's, and they have to spend $20,000 to get a degree f to go the wrong way with, our, with, call, with art. And I'm talking about art. You know, you could also go to CalArts, spend even more money, and yeah, you have a closer shot at being in the right circles, but it still depends on you and your personal drive and your personal talent and your personal interests and how you can pull that all together. It's not about your college. It just never is. I've hired a lot of people in the past, and it's never been if they've had a degree. It's been about their art. Is your art good? Is your portfolio good? I don't want to see school assignments. I don't want to see your figure drawing school assignments. Get that out of my face. You know what I'm saying? Um, I want someone who can adapt and change and think outside the box. And I mean, this is me talking when I was working in animation and visual development. And um, I did a lot of commercial stuff. And so I would actually hire people and hire students out of college. And most of them were a waste of time. And there was a fraction of them that were good, but there was still a, there was a fraction of people who didn't go to college that were good too. So I believe that whether you go to college or not, there's always going to be a minority that actually excels, and it doesn't matter if there's college or not. A lot of the people that have that I've worked with that are on top and making it happen, they didn't go to college. They just they just had you know what I'm saying. So take it or leave it. I know there's a lot of people that get frustrated when they hear me say that. But um, if you're going to make it as an artist, you can make it whether you go to college or not. Period. That's, that's my thoughts on it. And I don't think it will speed it up either because they might lead you in the wrong direction based on 20-year-old experience. You know, things change too fast now to, to put your hands, put, to put your career in the hands of people who had a career 30 years ago in a profession. So there you go. There's my spiel. I'll try to do a stream every day or every other day. So, so uh, subscribe and get hit the bell button. And you'll be notified. And again, if you guys want to read this comic once it's ready, uh, join my patronage, Jason Brubaker. Search up Jason Brubaker on Patreon, and it's going to be a patron-only comic. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys next time.